Welcome, one and all, to Event 7, Team Pursuit. It's Season 5, the Glass Ball Tournament. There you see our previous gold medals, previous 16 placers. Shamrocks, Volcanoes, Rocky Rockers are the definite favorites, but two of them did not qualify this season. So I think our hosts definitely have an advantage here. Here we go with the Roshianic and Run 1. Their quick spin marble, Tide, will be coming in also as their captain. Down they go, well, how fast can they go here? Their first marble does pretty well. Fish follows up well. First marble is getting a bit ahead of himself. A big lead over the rest of the pack that might not be good for them. Second marble finishes. And with the mid time, the third comes through right there. The fourth will not matter. It's only the top three. As like literally every other team pursue. What are you expecting? You can see like how big of a separation it was. They did gain it back a little bit final funnels but it was still a pretty big separation but separation will not be counted because we are not a professional league we are just a small one anyways here we go miracle makers in run two no reserve miraculous because he's doing funnel endurance and he should not be in this event apparently all right and we come wizard is supposed to be the fast marble here but let's see how he does wizard Wizard is currently in first, but again, it's the, the, your, it has to be your team. It's three marbles, not one. And yeah, it's not much of a lead. They're going for the 3-1 strategy, which is an interesting strategy to take. Oh, and they have one stuck. That's not good for them. Uh, they're going to get a penalty. That's 20.85. That's almost 21 seconds, and that's definitely not what you want. It's like, that was disappointing, man. Like... Seriously, that was very disappointing. Like, they were doing so well. They were very bunched together. Yeah, that was just kind of destroyed them. Catch up mechanics for run three. This team has kind of been falling off since their golden event won. But maybe they can pull it back since this is another funnels event and they are good at those apparently. And Tomato uh, is speeding up way too much, just like the first Roshianic Mario. Oh my god, he's already finished. That is uh, not great separation. They're going for kind of like the leader goes first strategy again, and that's not going to help them. That is a pretty mid time, if I'm not going to lie. 1827. Yeah, not what they had hoped for. Seeing in the replay, the first two finished way too, way too much before the first, but the other two, and they were just not catching up. Again, no separate separation will not be counted, so uh, they probably get let got let off a little bit more on that. Ghost Hunters run four, a team everyone has a high hopes for. Yeah, let's see how they do. Phantom will be in this event, and yeah, he's their captain, obviously. Yeah, he's off to a good start. But what strategy will they opt for? Will they offer the three one? It seems like they they're opting for the leader goes out into the big lead strategy. Which doesn't really work for most teams. So you've seen like the both the teams that took that those strategies are not doing very well. And yeah, Guol is stuck on a course. That's not going to help them. Currently last, 21.22. Ugh. I doubt that's even... I doubt that's going to be better than anyone's for the day. Like, it would be surprising to see anyone get a worse time. That is horrendous. Suns, run five. They have been, the defending runners-ups have been very mid this entire season. Like, very forgettable, not great performances except for Flair's gold. But maybe they can pull a miracle here. Blaze, even though sucking at quick spin, Blaze is here. And Blaze is not doing that well. But they're opting for the 3-1 strategy, which is, uh, now they're going for the 2-2. Two -two. It's decent. It's decent. It's a pretty fast, actually. This is very fast. Look at Flair. He just finished that last funnel. Yeah, that is really fast. Is that provisional lead? Yes, that is. That's provisional first over the Oceanic. But 1759, there's definitely room to improve. I so I doubt that's going to be goal of the day. Yeah, there's when they swapped from their 3-1 strategy to a 2-2 strategy, which is quite interesting because... You'd think a uh, 3 1 would be very more useful, but. Mm. Coral Creatures, this team needs points. They're sitting at the bottom of standings. What else can I. What more can I say? Alright, so uh, now they, they come. They seem pretty fast. And oh, if that had went in, if that Marvel did not miss the hole, that would. 
And they're very bunched. Look at this. This is great. This is looking great for the coral creature so far. And it's really fast. Look at, but then now they're opting for a 2-2, which might not help them. And they're kind of slow through that third funnel. That's going to be a pretty good time. Oh, no, not really. Only a 19-13. Sheesh. Okay. That was not what I was expecting. Yeah, they looked really fast. Wow, surprising poor creatures, but that's not going to help them in trying to not es trying to escape the basement. That's going to be not good. Bombs run seven. Team that's kind of flopped around, but they did get silver and block pushing. So maybe, can they pull anything here? They are a quite a fast team, and they did do well in Funnel Quick Spin in previous times. And two... They're opting for 2-2, two, two, it seems, and the two are already off to a huge lead. Look at that first marble. That is a... They then bombs. Team play 55 is really for them. The replay. And, like, these marbles were just... The bombs were extremely fast. Atlantic Assassins and run 8 of 16. We're halfway through. Almost. Assassins. Currently... Doing pretty well after getting a gold in block pushing or their second gold of the season, beating the bombs but barely. What can they do here? Very bunched together are the first few their marbles. Shark. Yeah, this is looking very good for them. This might this is not going to be beating the bombs, but I believe that is going to be at least a silver. It will be. It's a silver currently. 1722. Great time for the assassins. Replay. Just look at how much they were opting for that three one, and how much it paid off for them. Because they were they were thinking, oh, burning our fourth marble is going to be very helpful to us because our fourth marble doesn't matter. Now our host, everyone cheer, everyone clap. The Rocky Rockers has run nine. They are going to win, maybe, probably. I don't know, maybe. And off they go. They're frosted, so they kind of have a disadvantage here. They did win this event before, and. Yeah, this what they're opting for a weird strategy. Oh, they're opting for the leader strategy. Oh, that's not gonna work well, probably. Oh, but look how fast they are through these funnels, though. Oh my, okay, that is great. That is a great time, actually. Oh, sub seventeen, our second team reached sub seventeen, sixteen fifty three. Yeah, they they kind of just burned their last marble, but doesn't really matter because their first three marbles were so quick. Vicious Villains, run 10. They are another team that needs a points. I believe they're sitting in 14th. Uh, Yeah, this team needs points. I'm saying, like, yeah, like, this isn't their best event, but maybe, maybe, possibly. Ooh, they're, they are, this, that's very quick, actually. That is great. Look at that 3-1 formation. That's amazing. Look at that. And pretty good. 16.53 for fourth provisionally. That's actually really decent, but that's only, that's point one point zero one below the assassin's time, which could cost them a point, and that would not be good. Ice Blasters run eleven. A team everyone has high hopes for now. This team is doing amazing in the standings, second place currently, but can they pull it together in this event? Slow through the first funnel. That's not good. Look at how much their third marble is slowing down. Jeez. Okay, quick through the second. That's good. But another two slow funnels. This is going to be a horrible time for our runners up, for original second placers. Oh, my. No penalties. 2205 with no penalties. That's worse than the Ghost Hunters. Oh, my God. I thought no time was going to get worse than that, but no. I was wrong, apparently. Okay. Replay, yeah. No to play except for the first funnel. That is extremely slow. That is extremely slow. Peacemakers, run 12. Sitting in second to last. Uh, this team needs points, just like all of the other ones I've said. But this one needs points desperately. They are going to be embarrassing themselves and finish last this season. No, they got third last time. But they did do well in quick spin, so they should do well here. They are opting for the leader strategy. That's not good there. No, never mind. They're opting for a 2-2. That is a very stretched out 2-2, by the way. That is uh, going to be a very slow time for them. Very stretched out. And their last two marbles were battling in that last funnel. For no reason. 20.15. Yeah. Yeah, that's like... They, they stretched their two... Uh, 
vulnerables at the front stretched out way too much compared to the two in the back. Like, it was just, like, insane how much the two stretched because, like, that's not going to help you. Poison Plants, run 13. They just got a bronze last event, and they're doing pretty much average. They're doing, like, expectations, like, average expectations. How they do in this event? They're first three pretty quick through the first funnel, actually. Really doing really well. Oh my, that is gonna be oh, their third marvel straggling a bit. That's not good, but maybe they can pull this back at the fourth. Oh, yeah, he didn't finish. Oh, uh, a little embarrassing, but oh, yeah, six is fine, like it's not horrible. And I'm pretty sure they're getting to the top half, but. I'm just saying, man, you could have not gotten stuck there and actually have gotten a decent time. Min Majesties, this team is horrible this season. Like, oh my god. They're, I believe they're at 11 points. What? After what, six events? Pick it up. Will they pick it up, though? How's this first one looking? They're looking like they're opting for the leader strategy. One of them gets stuck. Two of them get stuck. Two of them get stuck. That is a rerun. Yeah, there's now starting the rerun. The front did not work out for them. They miss on this run. They will get last in the event. And how will they do here? Opting for a different strategy, bunching up a lot. That's good. You do want to bunch up. One of them gets stuck. If the, another one gets stuck, the Mim Majesties will come out of event seven with the eleven points of total. Okay, no, then that's actually a good time. Even with the penalty, seventeen point sixty seven. Home. Boy, wow, that's actually really good. Yeah, I haven't gotten that penalty. They would have gotten a sub-17 second time. Would have been a third sub-17 second time, but uh, it was not to be. Well, they're going to be happy with those points. They do need it. Cantaloupe Corsairs, very good team, actually. They did really well in the quick spin. They got gold, but that was Citrus, and I don't think he's in this event. Uh, how will they do here? Like that is fruit already has taken the lead. Oh my! What is that strategy? That's a slingshot strategy. We have not seen that before. Innovative and two of them get stuck. Okay, their innovative strategy didn't work. Their innovative strategy. What can they do? This time it's gonna be less innovative, probably. But will they go for the slingshot again? Will they opt for a more different? Oh, they're opting for the two. Two. That's bad. No, maybe not. They're actually opting. It looks like. A very good... Oh, they're opting for the slingshot again. Oh, the cancel course. They're actually getting a little quirky with their strategies. Very... A very fun strategy. I don't know if that's actually good. They, do, they did well. Sixth, 17-29. Obviously, they're, everyone had higher hopes for the Funnel Quickspin champions. But, yeah. It was pretty good, considering they used a brand new strategy no one has ever used before. Like, Slingshot is genuinely looks very fun. Darkness Rangers, everyone that's been waiting for this run, our championship leaders, can they get gold at Team Pursuit? This will be their first gold ever. But what can they do? Cosmo is coming in, even though he's their quick, you no, know, he's their endurance marble. And that's a pretty slow first funnel. A good move there, but. It's a that's a fast second funnel, and that they're slipping in the third. They're not going to get gold, is what I'm saying. Uh, their third marble is very far behind their first two, and their last marble far behind the third. It's not even a good time. Only eleventh. Uh, yeah, the, their championship leaders not gonna be very happy about that one. They definitely could have done better. Their lead is gonna be very little now. According to my calculations, they're, li they're little, and there you see the podium, the bombs, the Rocky Rockers, our host, the Atlantic Assassins, the bombs, our, their second gold of the games. And that, with a sub-16 time, the only team who has managed to do that. And oh, hey, look at them in Majesty, they're in seventh. That's amazing. They're, that's truly revolutionary, a top half. Absolutely insane. I can't believe that they got a top half. Oh my god. What? Oh, Ice Flashers and last, though. That's going to be bad. They're going to drop a few spots for sure. Peacemakers in 13th. Yeesh. Or 15th, rather. Yeah. Yeah. That's not good. Overall, 15th. Ugh. Still stuck there. Mid-Majesty still stuck in last, and no one's surprised. Darkness Rangers lead. 
down to only two points over the Bombs. Very surprising to the surprise of pretty much everyone. And the Ice Watchers falling down two. Atlantic Assassins stay in third. What will the next event bring us? Stay tuned for event eight of the Glass Ball Tournament, which will be time trial.